Interesting. He just made a, a comment, Curtis. When you cook your food, you kill it. Yeah, he says a lot of the vitamins go away. I thought if you use a microwave or something, they say the, micro the vitamins are still in there. No. no, that's not the truth. Heat kills. Heat kills. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Some veterans. No more warm soups for us. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Some veterans have the chance to relive their World War II days uh, thanks to this touring B-17 bomber. This is it's really incredible. incredible. I know. You know, my father was a World War II bomber mm -hmm. pilot. Flew this plane, and it had a chance when it went through Rhode Island. He got to get back on it, and Didn't it was he get amazing. Shot down? For him. He did. In this plane. Was yes. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. All right, well, this plane is making stops all over the country and recently visited New London. And that's where better buddy Teresa LaBarbera hopped on board uh, with John Stellatano, who was actually flying one of these planes 66 years ago. That is incredible. It was quite the first impression pulling up to the airport in New London to find this Boeing B-17 flying fortress on the runway. There were 12,731 of them built, and they, they was designed in 1935. There are 13 50 caliber machine guns on board that shoot 100 rounds per gun. It's one of the most iconic images for this country, even today. During World War II, this uh, aircraft basically broke the back of the German war machine doing daylight bombing. And uh, it was very high risk. A lot of Americans lost their lives doing it. Uh, so it, it just means a tremendous amount to our country. The bomber is part of the Salute Our Veterans Tour that visits 58 cities each year. We've, we've got veterans that, you know, they get all teary-eyed. We get veterans that have never talked about the war. They see the plane, and the next thing you know, they're talking to their families again. It, the plane really, it, in a lot of respects, it, it affords closure uh, to some of these veterans. You know, fighting that war for a lot of these guys was the most important thing they've ever done in their lives, and so the airplane is, is that important to them. Like John Stellatano, who 66 years ago was flying in one just like this and reminiscing stories. Things you're not supposed to do. After a safety debriefing, we were all invited on the plane for a ride around southeastern Connecticut. They sure bring back a lot of memories. We were able to travel around the cabin and see the tight quarters and weapons. You could do a heck of a traffic report up here. After about 25 minutes, we were back on the ground. <laughs> All right. John, who was on board a plane like this at age 19, relives one of his most treacherous moments. One of his 36 missions, which are noted on his bomber jacket, didn't go so smoothly. We were on a mission to Leipzig, Germany, and on our way back over the target, uh, we get hit pretty bad. Mm. We lost three engines. And it was a question of trying to get back to uh, our own lines or land in German lines. And we decided we were going to stretch it out as far as we could. And we ended up in some farmer's backyard 15 miles outside of the lines. John's plane was named Little Mary. I had to do something to, to remind me of my wife. And she wanted me to also uh, remember her. So we put something together that would make me uh, remember. This is little Mary. Well, he enlisted. He was in co started college, and he enlisted. He didn't want to wait to be drafted. I see. And he wanted to go in right away, so he went. And I was in high school. And then the minute he got his wings, we get married. For Better Connecticut, I'm Teresa LaBarbera. Just amazing. I mean, they they really are the greatest generation. Just what they did at such young ages. I know. It's incredible. I mean, you think, you know, I was we have to, nothing to compare to that. I was just talking to a gentleman who had stormed Normandy, and he was like, he's here to talk about it. And he was, you know, he was talking about the, the whole experience. And it was just wild, it wild, and, and stuff that we can never even comprehend. Yeah. You know, I, I, I never served, so I can't comprehend. Paco, you were in the service, right? Did you see any wartime? No. But so, but still, the experience alone, just to be sort a lot of stuff. So now, my father did serve. He he, he believes in that everybody should have to serve because it makes you I, become a man or a woman. Everybody should have to serve. I, I can't, you know. Good look, stuff. Yeah, look at me. I turned into a woman. We're gonna be right back with more Better Connecticut. Stay with us.